Lab. Sound Test Sleuth one. Lab. Check. Testing one, two. Check. All right. Testing. Today we're going to take a BM 800 microphone body, or you could use a BM 700 microphone body, and we're going to gut it and turn it into kind of a world class voiceover microphone. All right. Here's the capsule we're going to put in. It's a TSB 255B from Transound. Really nice capsule, all of about $12. Here it is glued into the capsule holder that we're gonna use. You can get those from either Shapeways or JLI Electronics. Here's the circuit board, ground and single connection. And then we have XLR one, two, and three connections. So this is gonna be five solder connections and you will have a world-class microphone. Let's take this bad boy apart and gut it. Unscrew the bottom, slide the little cylinder off. Why this metal ring is in here, I have no idea. Just bounces around, ditch that bad boy. All right, clip all the wires on the circuit board. There's the two for the capsule, the three on the bottom for the XLR connector. A couple Phillips head screws. These are M2.5 screws. Hold on to them. We'll be using them again. All right, we're gonna take the XLR connector off. Now the head basket. A couple more M2.5 screws. Check out the original capsule. Little 16 millimeter Chinese capsule. Not the world's best. Okay, we're gonna ditch that bad boy. Now notice on this metal frame, there are four screw holes, only two of those are tapped. Gonna slide some little rubber bumpers on here, little grommets. And those, we're gonna run the wires through the ones that are not tapped, which is that one. And then the ones that are tapped, the screws will go in. All right. The screws are in place and there's still a little bit of an air gap, which is perfect for vibration dampening a little bit. All right, let's put the head basket back on. There's the two slots on the side, go around the capsule. We're gonna screw that bad boy back in with two of the M2.5 screws. And notice that there's a little bit of a uh, tab right there is gonna hold the cylinder in place and lock it in. Here's the XLR connector, pins one, two, and three from the bottom, pins one, two, and three from the top view. And then that screw on the side that will screw out to lock it into place. There are two types of XLR connector screws. The screw that screws in to hold the XLR connector in place, and the screw that screws out to hold the XLR connector in place. This is the one that screws in, this is the one that screws out. Okay, we've added two capacitors to this, between ground and pin two and ground and pin three. Those are for EMI RF protection. And notice that little screw. That one that we have in there is gonna screw out to lock it into place and also make connections between the ground pin and the microphone body itself. That's a critical piece of making sure that there's no AC hum in the finished product. All right, let's reassemble everything. This will slide right back in and get that little screw hole lined up. And we're gonna unscrew that which will actually bring the screw out and lock it in, making our ground connection. There's our ground and single connections, our XLR one, two, and three connections. Now we've soldered those five wires on. Next step is gonna to be to take the circuit board, hold it down into place, and mount it onto the frame with our little M2.5 screws. There are two sets of screws, depending on the microphone body, donor body you're using. For the BM800, those ones line up, put the two M2.5 screws back in, slide the cylinder over, notice the little notch in there that will fit into the tab and lock it into place, then screw on the bottom, make it tight, and voila, one fully assembled, modified microphone with a really good capsule in there, perfect for voiceovers or whatever else you'd like to do with it. One more thing, this entire video was narrated with a microphone that we just built.